I'll be talking about Purdue Owl all semester long, but I just wanted to get you started. Here's the website that links to the URL I gave you. And if you scroll down just a little bit and look on the left hand side, you'll see um, if you need APA guides, guidelines, then they're here. But I'm going to click and expand this list. And there's lots, there's so many pages here. But because, well, let me, let me point out the sample works cited sheet here and the sample paper here. It sometimes it helps to look at a sample. But your two um, sources for this essay are electronic sources. So I'm going to take you right here. And I'm going to recommend that you do not use this citation engine because, because Purdue Owl has become monetized. It must have been bought since I last used it used it. What what I'm going to recommend that you do is um, scroll down. This this is general information about how to cite electronic sources, but if you scroll down a little bit, you'll ha you'll end up with the case studies. So this is how you want to do it if you're citing an entire website. This is how you want to do it if you're citing a course or department website. This is how you want to do it if you're citing a page on a website, which you are, okay? You're citing an article on a journal website. So I would just copy and paste this to my works cited sheet and use it as a model and just just check check off the elements as you build your own citation.